Hey folks, Revo Brewer here. We're back with another homebrew kit review. So for this one, I'm a little bit prepared, but I'm going to admit I've been pounding back a few beers, so <laughs> feeling pretty good now. But we're going to feel pretty good with the Golden Ale. Mangrove Jack Golden Ale. This is part of the New Zealand series, as opposed to the Australian series. So, yeah, we'll give her a go. It's, uh, it's as the box says, a golden ale. Let's open it up and see what we got. Nice crack and look, nice fizz. Still got the whole garden glass. Ooh, this one looks like he, she's a little more carbonated than the last one. Yeah, it is. Um, although this one's been in the bottle for quite a while longer as well. So there's what we got, a nice golden ale. It's a little bit cloudy because I transported the beers and some sediment got knocked around, but let's give it a taste. Yeah, I kind of like this one a little bit more than the classic bitter. It's got a little more flavor to it, a little more um, hop bite. Um, let's take a look at the box and see what it says. A golden ale with subtle, subtle malt and fruit undertones finished with a pleasant bitterness. And it pretty much sums up this beer. It's uh, You can taste a little bit of fruit in there. But it's got that little bitterness on the end to take you home. It's it's not a bad beer at all. Uh, Mangrove Jacks rarely makes a bad beer. I've, I don't think I've had really a bad one from these guys. Yeah, that's a, that's a solid three and a half out of five, I would say. So we're still out here at the cabin. This is the second um, video of the day. I'm gonna this one's gonna be released a little later just to stagger them a bit. Because I don't do a ton of homebrew kit reviews anymore because I've pretty much I've done pretty much all the kits that are available. <laughs> it's just I, I I pretty much now I'm on kit and kilo. That's my uh, standard issue. Um, it's just easy for me. It produces pretty good quality beer. For me to do all grains, just that's way too much. That's way beyond I mean, the amount of work that I want to do to make a beer. I mean, you got to put in a lot of time and effort. You need a lot of gear to do that. And I live in a tiny apartment. I just, it's not feasible. Um, what is feasible are the malt extract beers. So we're getting into a little bit of a chat in this video too. Because, I mean, it's just your standard quality mangrove jack it's it, it is what it says on the label pretty well it's um a subtle malt and fruit undertones finished with a pleasant bitterness that pretty much describes the beer to a t really um unbelievable but yeah we're getting into a little bit of a chat in this we'll have a beer and we'll have a chat and um basically i'm down to the kitten kilos that's what i'm doing i could do the malt extract um definitely boiling in the hops and that sort of thing but even that it's i don't know it's it's a fair amount of work and for me it kitten kilo it's just so easy and the quality is there with these new kits it's it's pretty good quality so i'm pretty much sticking to that um and I can't see myself going backwards to, or actually forwards, I guess it would be, to doing the malt extract kits or all grain. And the people that do it, that's great. Like if I if I had a basement, like if I had a, my own house and a basement, then that is probably something I would consider. But right now I'm in a small apartment and I just, I just want to bang out some pretty quick beer basically. Anyways, uh, I think we'll probably leave it at that. This is the second in the cabin series. We're out at the cabin amid the COVID crisis. Um, you know, it's a tough time, but uh, getting back to nature kind of puts it all in perspective. You can sit down, take a deep breath, uh, take a look around and see what's going on. You know, uh, nothing's changed in nature. The birds are still out here. The chipmunks are running around. Uh the trees are growing, the streams are flowing, but um, uh, I 
think it's going to be a situation when this is all done that we're going to be getting a little bit closer with nature. That's my feeling anyways. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this review. I just, I don't have a whole lot to say about it because it's, it's like the classic bitter a little bit. It's a pretty standard beer. This has a little bit more flavor. Uh, I, and to be frank, I, I like this beer a little bit more. The classic bitter was a little bit too bland and there just was not a lot in it. I just, it is a sessionable beer, I guess, but this one has like, uh, yeah, there's way more flavor in this one. I'll top it up here a little bit. You can see a beautiful head on it. Uh, it's just, uh, it's a good golden ale. This is also probably a sessionable beer, I would say. I don't know. I'm drinking a lot of them, so. But anyways, uh, keep on brewing. Um, you know, keep sending me those comments and the emails, and uh, we'll see you next time. Cheers.